Uh, so today we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about this North Korean attributed app. Uh, so this Chrome update alert. So this is a blog post that covers this. Um, and we're going to focus on the bottom here where they talk about this Mac OS application. So what it appears to do is it gets the user's password and then it exfiltrates that Dropbox using the Dropbox API. So we're just going to walk through how this works because this allows us to talk about um, Objective-C, Swift, some ARM, and just kind of walk through how this was set up. Okay, so I have it loaded up in Binary Ninja, and we're going to go to the top of this function that I called NS Alert Password Capture, and this is where all this happens. So Binary Ninja actually does a really good job of um, parsing all this out and kind of showing you how this goes with different things here with Objective-C and the bridging between Swift. Um, Swift is a little bit weird when it comes to string, so I ran a plugin to do this for me, and we're going to start at the top here of this function. Okay, so what's used here to capture the user's password is an NS alert. So we see that this is loading this Objective-C class into X0, and it's bridging to this Objective-C alloc with zone, and it's calling this initialize here, and it's going to essentially initialize this that we're gonna see throughout all of these calls. And that's gonna be returned in X0, and then saved in X19 here. So we know that this is gonna be like our um, window controller and it's alert. That's the next 19. And if we just kind of go down, we'll see that this object is moved into X zero many times when we're passing, uh, methods to it. Okay. So we have that set up and now this chunk here, let me just move this over. This chunk here is all about dealing with Swift strings. Swift strings are kind of weird, but we'll walk through it really quickly. This will result in authentication required. Okay, so we're getting this address, this pointer to here, into x8. There's a subtraction that happens of 0x20. This is very common with Swift binaries. Then we're using this, this instruction here to OR it. So we're adding this eight all the way in the beginning. And if we see, we go back, display this as unsigned hexadecimal. What this instruction does is it moves this eight all the way over here, right? So this is gonna signify in Swift that this is a large Swift string. Okay, so we have this here. So first part of Swift. Thing. Next, this is going to then be the size. Okay, so we have 0x17, we moved into x22. We have a move k here, which then basically shifts all the way uh, for 0x30. And then what this does is it then it will look like this. So split strings are structs, so they have these two uh, 8 byte values, it's, they're 16 byte long. And this tells us that this string is 0x17 bytes long. So the way that this is calculated is here you can do a BF free just to walk through this. You have to add this native bias and then you pass for BF BV.read here in binary ninja, then you pass the size. And that's where this authentication required comes from. Okay, so authentication required is gonna be the string that's used here. And in order to bridge to Objective-C NS string object, we're gonna pass these two values. We're gonna pass the size and this pointer to this large Swift string. 
And that's why you see this is put into x1 and x0 is the size. And then these two values are then passed to this string dot bridge to objective C. And this is going to then return this into x0 as an NS string. Cool. Then that's saved into x21. Okay, so now we're seeing this selector for set message text. We're loading that into x1. We're getting the value that's an x19, which is this NS alert object here that we're looking at. That's moved into x0. X21 has this NS string, the authentication required, and we're going to run this Objective C message then. So in Objective C, this is the function that allows for message passing, method passing to uh, the actual object. So we get the value, the class, this class object, the selector, and then we're passing in this as the argument to the selector. Right. So this is going to look like. In this case, let's just say NS alert, and then we are getting this set message text and passing in this NS in a string for authentication required. So something like that with this kind of stuff just to kind of show a little bit how that would look. Cool. So this is then going to set the message text for the NS alert to be this authentication required. And that's how they're going to build out this NS alert to then capture the user's password. So that's part one of this. So what we're going to see is this is just memory management with Objective-C. So we'll see that this NS string is then released because that was an X21. And now we have another chunk of instructions here to be able to uh, convert this split string into an, an NS string. And same thing, right? So we have values that are moved into registers to then create this 16 byte string, switch string that is then bridged to Objective-C and that's returned in X21 or X0 and that's saved into X21 and the same thing set informative text is going to accept an argument. That argument ends up being this string. And this is just going to build out that second um, string in this NS alert that's going to pop up to the user. Okay, so we're just going to kind of go down here because this is just more stuff with setting up this NS alert. We have this set alert style that again, we're passing this to the object, the NS alert object, and we're passing a value of two. I'm not sure what this alert style is. I'm not worried about that, but yeah, that's that. Uh, so this is then going to be a small Swift string. So there's still 16 bytes long, but small Swift strings, when it comes to this, you'll see a zero X E. And then the value after that is gonna be the size of this string. So we have this being moved into W0 and X1 has this that tells us this is a two byte string, small Swift string. And this is then bridged to objective C. It's going to create an NS string using this value and we can convert this ourselves to characters and that will then be the string of OK. And we can see this is then going to be passed after the bridge to NS string, it's moved into X21. This is then passed as the argument to add button with title. And the message passing is completed with the Objective C message sent. So this is just going to add that OK button. OK, continuing. This is another button that's being added. And we can see, uh, so this is pretty cool the way that these move and move K instructions work. Right, we saw it a little bit at the top, but this is getting these bytes and we can display this as so BA, right? That fit into this W0 uh, register, 32 bit register. And then it's using this move K to then move those values 
right to next to next to it and then that's why you can see this is then shown as back but it's going to be backwards because of little indianness and this tells us that this is four bytes long and that's what we see here that is then bridged to an ns string and this back button is passed as the argument to the add button with title so all this is just setting up this ns alert okay so now this user is going to be presented with this ns alert and where is their password going to go so here we have the use of this ns secure text field so this is loaded into x0 we alloc with zone and it's going to be initialized with this frame so these are values here for this frame like how big this is going to be uh this is like different values for that we're not going to worry about these d registers right now just know that this is going to initialize this text this secure text field with this frame that frame this nx text this nf secure text field frame is then going to be returned in x0 so right here we have this ns text or secure secure field is returned here and that's saved into x21 and then x21 is then we have this x19 for this um for the actual ns alert object we're then going to pass this secure field as the set accessory view here for this selector with an objective c message send and then it's going to run it's going to run this okay so it's going to run and then the user is going to input a password it's going to they're going to press okay and then how do you how does it handle that string getting that string value from the secure text field what it's going to do is it has this object for this ns secure field it's going to move this object this class into x0 and it's going to get this selector for this string value and it's going to return that string value so it's going to grab that string value that's input with this objective c method send and then this is going to return into x0 here so x0 this is an ns string that's being returned and then we'll see this is a different bridge than we saw before bridge from objective c what we've seen is the opposite which is bridge to objective c to create an ns string from a swift string this is the inverse of this so it's going to get the value that's an x0 that's passed to this function that's an ns string this is the password right here so password is in x0 that's then bridged here and of course these switch strings are going to be um, 16 bytes long so it's actually returned in more than just one register because only eight bytes can fit into one register so it's going to return this into x0 and x1 so this is going to be um the size of string with string and then this is going to be the actual pointer to switch string object that's why there's two registers that are used here after this bridge okay so then that's going to then be saved into x23 and x21 and then we'll see there's like some checks here which we're not going to cover for that all that we care about is what they do next with this string with this password that was captured and we see that they were saved here these are always going to be passed together as like um since it's 16 bytes long we'll see two registers used whenever this one switch string is being passed to a function they're passed together and that's what we see here so x23 and x22 after these checks are then passed to this function which i called 
IP connection. And then from here, it does other stuff using that that we're not gonna cover today. Uh, but that is how the NS alert works and how they grab the user's password that's input into this NS alert object. And what that looks like just to kind of go through that here. So let me just run this actually, since I'm not worried about, I'm not worried about it. So it does have this, um, this prompt to get access to the microphone that we're not worried about, but just remind me later. And that is what that NS alert will look like. We have the authentication required, this little picture the back button, the OK button. And then since it's using a secure text field, when you enter anything in here, it's not going to show the password. Probably to build confidence for the user doesn't feel like they're going to get their password taken. But yeah, so that's how that works. Hopefully that's helpful in understanding these kinds of things. Again, good opportunity to talk about some ARM stuff, some Swift, and some Objective-C.